Hi everyone, I'm Drew. And I'm Rosie. I'm the creative director of Time for Kids. And my mom's the editor in chief. I'm the one who creates the overall look for the magazine. And really what I want to do is get kids excited about what they're reading before they've ever read a word. Ever since I was little, Drew's been teaching me how to draw all of my favorite things. And we figured since a lot of you are home right now, we could all learn to draw together. You can share your drawings with us online and tell us what you want to learn to draw. They might even be featured in the magazine. We really want to thank our creativity partner, Adobe, for making this all possible. This is Draw with Drew. And Rosie. All right, Rosie, what are we drawing today? A giraffe. Good idea. Let's do it. I chose giraffes because we've already done my two favorite animals, a dog and an elephant. And I love their long necks and they're so cute. I'm thinking about maybe it holding something. Ooh, holding what? Maybe <laughs> like a balloon or something. Holding it in its mouth or holding it in its hoof? I have to think about that one. <laughs> okay. Maybe I'll try holding something in its mouth. How about that? You know how giraffes have really long tongues? They do? Yeah. Do you think anyone at home knows how long a giraffe tongue is? I'd say no. There's not. I, I don't think so. No. You'd have no. to be like an expert on giraffes. You'd have yeah, to, no. They'd have to be like your favorite animal. No way. Yeah, you're right. Nobody knows that. How long are giraffe tongues? A typical giraffe tongue is 18 to 20 inches long. The of the That's a lot. It's 18 to 20 inches. I told you it was long. That's like a quarter of me. That's wow. more than a quarter of me. Crazy, right? For everyone at home, it's a really good idea to look at some photos before you start drawing. Just to get ideas and to see all the things that you can't picture in your mind, you know? Mm -hmm. It's really smart to do a little studying up on giraffes. If you want to draw a giraffe, let's find out a few facts about them. Like how long are their necks and how many horns do they have? Where are their spots and what do they look like? So Rosie, what do you know about giraffes? Well, I know that um, groups of giraffes are called towers. Towers? Yeah. Is that just because they're so tall? Maybe. Huh, that's interesting. Towers, huh? Do you think they call themselves towers? I don't think they talk. <laughs> What else you got? What else do you know about giraffes? If you put three adults together, that's that's the tallest they can grow up to. What do you mean? They, they stand on each other's shoulders? Like if you... Oh, human adults? Yeah. Oh, that makes more sense. Like if three human adults stood on each other's shoulders and then one giraffe came along, they would be like the same height. They could kiss. I don't think the humans would like that. <laughs> All right, let's start drawing. Everyone at home, get some paper, some pens, pencils, colored pencils, crayons, markers, or whatever you want to work with. And Rosie, let me know if you ever want me to look at anything. I can give you some pointers or tips if you need. You might not need them. <laughs> and I'm gonna start with a little blue color. I don't know why. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna do the normal color. I think I'm gonna do like either like a blue or a purple. I, no, I just said blue. I'll do purple. Now I want to do purple. It doesn't have to look realistic. I mean, the color doesn't have to, even though it's not supposed to look like a donkey. It shouldn't look like a donkey, by the way. It I'm... should look more like a giraffe, I think. Yeah, that's what I was going for. Okay. <laughs> I'm doing blue. Okay. When was the last time you saw a giraffe? Um, never. You've never seen a giraffe? Oh, wait, actually, I did see it once at the Turtleback Zoo, and I got to feed them. Rosie, show me what you got. I just started. It's not that good yet. And I started off light so I can erase it. Wow. For everyone drawing along at home, it really helps to do a light sketch first. When you decide you want to move the leg or make the neck longer or do all these other little touches to make it fit. When you start out with a light touch, it just makes it a lot easier to adjust on the fly and make corrections easier. Okay, you want to see mine? Yeah. I just got that. I sketched in the head. Already? Yeah, I'm, I'm fast. I am a professional, you know? <laughs> my thing is trying to get all the proportions into a good space. So one of my biggest tips for everyone at home who's following along, really map out your entire page before you start putting all the details into your drawing. So that the eyes are even, and the, you know, they've got those horns, and those are even. Their ears are the same size. So I try and map all that out first before I start getting into like super detail on things. Mm -hmm. And then I think about what I want to put in their mouth. Do you have like a pen or do you use your finger? Uh, the way you're using paper, I'm using Adobe Fresco on my iPad. It's so cool. 
sex so far? Oh my gosh, it's so good. A lot of times what kids will do is they'll start delving right into an eyeball or like a face or a nose and you kind of have to think big picture first, get your foundation and your concept and your idea and then you can get into all the little details, you know? Mm -hmm. How's it going being stuck at home? Well, I miss seeing my friends. Yeah, me too. I bet a lot of the kids drawing with us right now are missing their friends. Oh, I'm sure. But maybe they can send each other their drawings and that'll make them feel like they're together again, right? Mm -hmm. What about this idea? Next week we'll have everyone do a self-portrait and then they send them to us and then we put them all into one drawing so it looks like they're all hanging out together again. That's a good idea. Drew, would you add all like of the little spots all over the body? <sighs> you kind of have to, right? Like for the full stomach? I mean, the problem with giraffes is they, they kind of, they look naked without it, right? You know, <laughs> I know, that's a lot of work, right? Yeah. That's another thing you can think about at home, the details make the drawing. Sometimes it can be a little tedious, but that's what makes it look really nice in the end when you spend time on all the details. Mm -hmm. This is mine so far. All right. One thing I would say, if you're up for a pointer, mm -hmm. I don't know that they have the, like, that their spots are so uniform like that. What do you mean? They're kind of going right across in a straight line on, on their body, you know? Oh, so they're supposed to be like, just like all around? I think so. Should they add a mouth? Oh, yeah. Oh, I got it. I got that. That's good. What do you got? So, I did like, thing right there. Was that his nose? That right there, that's like his nose and then that's his mouth. And then that's like the back of his head because they have like a little bump in the back. Like oh. part of his paws, like an antenna thing. Right. I figured out that the antennas help them fight off predators because they don't really have like weapons. So mm. they use their antennas. Oh, I see. I thought it was to watch TV. <laughs> I think I'm gonna make the neck longer. You can't go wrong with making a giraffe neck longer, right? Yeah. I'm gonna make it like a, like a safari. Good idea. That's another thing you guys at home can think about. Where is your giraffe? Is he on a safari? Is he in an ice cream store? Is he on a boat? Is he holding something? All these things, when you put them all in your drawing, it'll just make for a much better piece of art. I think I'm gonna add a sun or like a moon. Oh my gosh, you're, you're like going way faster than I am. I'm still drawing a nostril. <laughs> Here's mine. Okay. Oh, wow, you got a lot done. That's amazing. I like the way you fixed all the, the spots on. What's his name? I haven't thought of one yet. All right, you ready to see mine? Mm-hmm. I'm putting spots in on this <laughs> What do you think? You want to critique mine? I'm in awe. Oh, yeah? That's nice, thanks. Okay, I'm going to do purple. I wonder if anyone at home picked purple. What are you gonna do with your drawing? I don't know. Probably give it to you. Ooh, that's exciting. <laughs> Ooh, I think I'm done. Oh yeah, let's see. Wow. Oh my gosh, it's so good. It's like a purple giraffe, and then it has a pink balloon and a background on a safari. That is amazing. Thank you. It really is. Wait a minute, you put in the sky up there. I love the colors, and he's so happy. It's fantastic. Thank it's you. Great. All right, you want to see mine? Mm-hmm. <laughs> are you sure you didn't? Are you sure you drew that? Because that looks like it came from Africa. Uh, I'm pretty sure I drew it. Yeah. Does it say? Hi, Rosie. Uh, here, watch, I can zoom in. Hi, Drew. I can never make a tongue look like a real tongue. Maybe we'll do that one week. We'll just draw tongues for a whole episode. Might be kind of creepy. <laughs> that was fun, right? Very fun. I love drawing. 
Thanks so much, Rosie. That was really fun. And thanks to everyone at home. And thanks again to our creativity partner, Adobe. If you have more drawings and you want to put them into a portfolio, try Adobe Spark. The really awesome thing is that it's free. And don't forget to send your drawings to us. Ask your parents to post them on social media. Use the hashtag DrawWithDrew for a chance to become Time for Kids Art Director of the Week. See you soon. Bye. Bye.